Imagine, it's April 2nd, 1800, and you're about to go see the premiere of Beethoven's first symphony at the Berg Theater in Vienna, Austria. To understand what's about to happen, you also have to imagine the hits that you've been listening to to this point by the likes of people like Mozart or Haydn. Nowadays, music is everywhere. It's at the supermarket, it's in your car, it's even on TV as background noise. Not to mention, you could go out to the middle of nowhere and still have access to your music. But back then, live music was your only option. Your choices were few and far in between. A concert like this was your only chance to be exposed to new ideas. Let's listen to a few openings by Mozart and Haydn so that we can set ourselves in that period. Here's Mozart Symphony No. 35 in D major. Haydn Symphony in C. In G. So why are Haydn and Mozart both doing the same thing in their openings? Why are they emphasizing the tonic so much? The answer is they're setting the stage in which they're gonna tell their story. Okay, now let's listen to Beethoven's opening from Symphony Number no. 1 in C major. Whoa, 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 hold on. What did I miss? Did the symphony start already? What key are we in? Was that the tonic? How is this an opening? He starts his symphony not on the one, but on a weird one seven. Okay, so to see what's going on, let's look at the map in C from our guide. C is a regular triad, not a dominant chord. So what Beethoven's actually doing here is tricking everybody into thinking that they're somewhere that they're not, somewhere else, the map of F. C7 is the 5-7 of F. Now, when we listen to this, the only option we apparently have is to think that the story is going to be told in the map of F. We'll be traveling along the map listening to a story. A weird one, it seems. I can imagine everyone in the Berg Theater being completely lost. Because Beethoven had broken with all of the norms. He's starting the story on a secondary dominant, the 5-7 of 4, and resolving it to that 4, to make us think that the story is going to be told in the map of F. This is a bold move, and it speaks volumes about both how original and defiant Beethoven was. So, 5-7 of 4 to 4. A 5-7 a seventh chord, not a triad. A dominant chord, not a tonic. A dominant chord in the subdominant region, not in the dominant region. What an opening. And if you think that's all he does to make such a great opening, you're wrong. This is incredibly sneaky and very audacious. No other composer has ever tried to start a symphony in this way which is why this clearly deserves the title as Beethoven's killer opening number one. As usual, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you feel like helping us out, click on the like and subscribe button. Go ahead and feel free to leave a comment down below, and we'll catch you next time.